Hello, my name is Dave Hackett and I am a library support technician in University College Cork. My presentation for the Lear Show and Tell competition addresses the library studio upgrade project I participated in and will cover the installation, management and running of a green screen studio in a university library. The video recording studio here in UCC is an extremely popular space in the library. Since its introduction in 2017, it has been booked up to 3,000 times and used by almost 10,000 people from staff to undergraduates, postgraduates and PhD students. We replaced the old studio this summer with up-to-date video technology and this presentation will be helpful to any library looking to upgrade or implement a video recording studio as it highlights the teething problems that unfolded. So what exactly is a green screen studio? A green screen studio allows you to create new backgrounds, add effects, or include animations into your presentation, as you can see from this short video. Essentially, it allows users to remain within one room whilst creating dynamic presentations and video recordings. You need a large room, a green screen, two lights, a computer, and a camera. In UCC, we advertise our library studio as a fully automated video recording studio that allows you to record video presentations onto USB keys. There is no need to adjust the lights, settings, camera, or anything else. It sounds quite simple, but when you're providing a self-service, high-end video recording studio at an enterprise level, there are a lot of things to consider before getting it to the no need to adjust the lights, settings, camera, or anything else stage. Providing a self-service green screen studio in a library requires a lot more forethought than setting one up in a private enterprise or at home. In a public facing enterprise like a university, you must consider health and safety, security, and ease of use. For example, power cabling needs to run through the floors and walls and you need to cover or hide the cabling so it is not a safety hazard. The green screen itself needs to be placed on a purpose-made backdrop that can be relocated if the space ever needs to be repurposed. The camera and PC need to be positioned correctly, but also secure from any user interference in terms of cabling to and from the PC. You need to adjust the lighting to suit the room and that can also affect the settings that the camera and green screen software use. There should be no green glow around the presenter as it is too distracting and the glow diminishes the functionality of a green screen. You can adjust the software to fix this problem, but every room is different and every in-house lighting is different. If the room you use has air conditioning and it more than likely will, you will notice that the sound of the air conditioning is very prominent on your recorded video. These frequencies can be very distracting in the background of a video. But fear not, you can use the inbuilt EQ in the software provided with the camera. An EQ allows you to eliminate any low end frequencies or background hum from a recording. You need to draw up tried and tested documentation so that when users enter the studio, all these instructions are laid out in layman terms. This eliminates the need for staff to walk users through the, per the process every time, as this would be very time consuming and labor intensive. All users must be made aware that they really need to be prepared and have practiced their presentation because the green screen studio that we provide does not come with a teleprompter. Without being prepared, it is obvious if the presenter is reading from a sheet as you can see from this image. These issues need to be ironed out before you can make your library studio available for booking. There will be a lot of trial and error. But once these issues are dealt with, a green screen studio is a fantastic resource for users to have, especially as assignments and projects move away from traditional forms of submissions and ever closer to the digital world of video and audio. Thank you for watching and take care.